welcome back children to the geography class class 10 we are going to do minerals and energy resources part 2 we are going to take up our next topic natural gases advant distribution advantages and disadvantages this is your book please open to the page 184 natural gases Natural gas is a gas consisting primarily of methane. It is created in two primary ways, biogenic mechanism and thermo thermogenic gas. Biogenic gas mechanism creates natural gas by methano methanogenic organism. This natural gas is created in landfill and is often harvested to be used for fuel. Thermogenic gas is created inside the earth at, at great temperature and pressure condition from buried organic material. Distribution of natural gas. The natural gas has become an important source of energy in India. The Gas Authority of India Limited, GAL, is, going, is doing pioneer work in the field of natural gas exploration. Over 3 fourth, 65% gas comes from Mumbai High and rest 33% is produced by Assam, Tamil Nadu, Tripura and Basin. Advantages Natural gas has certain advantage over other fluid. Natural gas is a renewable resource. It can be created in the landfill from degradable matter in trash. Hence, it is cheaper. Natural gas can be uh, efficiently and safely stored. It is considered to be uh, environment friendly due to its lower emission after burning used as fuel at home. This gas is used as cooking gas at home, LPG and as fuel for vehicle, CNG. Liquidified natural gas, LNG is much cheaper. Disadvantages, like other fossil fuel, natural gas still does create Greenhouse immersion. It cannot be used at large scale. Natural gas is highly violated and can be dangerous if handled or transported carelessly. True natural gas is colorless, odorless and tasteless which make it leak detection difficult. Problem of ga natural gas. Flaring of gas is a common problem. It takes place due to lack of required compression and transfer facility. Lack of technical help for operational safety. Hydel power. Our next topic is Hydel power children. Electricity plays a dominant role in the progress and prosperity of a country. Consumption of electricity is a biometer of a nation, economic well-being and standard of living of its people. Availability and abundant electricity means unrestricted growth of industry. Transport and agriculture, which means freedom from hunger and poverty and resultant economic prosperity of the masses. There are three types of electricity recognized depending on the raw material rules used and mode of production, namely hydroelectricity, thermal electricity, including steam, gas and oil, nuclear electricity, hydroelectricity, children. The future prosperity of India depends on a great extent on our ability to produce and use electricity. The other two sources of energy, coal and petroleum, are exhaustible and will not be able available to us forever. So, hydroelectricity is the new generation electricity, children. Therefore, we should you reduce our dependence on coal and petroleum and develop hydroelectricity as far as possible. Hydroelectricity is renewable, cheap, clean and environment be beginning source of energy and will be available to us in the future. Our chief resource of hydroelectricity that is river water if not used properly will wastefully drain into the sea. India is blessed with huge water resources and there is vast possibility of producing hydroelectricity. However, India has developed only a small percentage of total potential available. This is due to certain geographical factor as well as well as because of developing stage of economy of the country. Turn your pages, you know. Geographical factor responsible for low production of hydel power are most of the river re regima in India 
are extremely erratic because they are fed by monsoon winds which are highly seasonal and rhythmical especially in the south hence these rivers cannot provide hydropower generation constantly many river do not have natural waterfalls and huge capital has to be wasted for constructing dam the sites suitable for generating hydroelectricity are located away from the consumption center as a result a lot of energy is wasted in transmission hydroelectric power electricity generated from a from the force of water falling from a height is called hydroelectricity factor necessary for installing hydroelectric power projects are mountainous area where water falls from a height the potential energy of falling water helps the turbinen to move permanent supply of water can be ensured by perennial rivers hence snow fed rivers of the himalayas are of great use for the generation of hydro power climate should be suitable that is river should be not freezing during winter water of the river should be silt free for jog for water should be stored in artificial reservoirs before releasing in hydral channel the a gorge between the two hill is the most suitable site for building dams flow of water should be uniform in the river any from fractional would affect the generation of electricity there should be enough scope of electricity supply that is an industrial zone so that the loss of electricity is minimum in transmission hydroelectricity developed in north and south india although the himalayan region in uttar pradesh punjab bihar and assam have great potential not many dams have been constructed over these rivers on the other hand conditions are more favorable in south india especially in western ghat because there are many steep waterfall situated in western ghat western ghat receive heavy rainfall by summer monsoon hence plenty of water is available many industries situated in the vicinity of these dams are dependent on electricity produced by these hydro project a few coal fields are available in the southern south hence the only source of generation of power is water advantages of hydro power over thermal power hydro power is inexhaustible and renewable source of power whereas coal the major factor in thermal power is exhaustible and non renewable it is cheaper to build a dam than building thermal power station hydro power project do not cause any pollution whereas thermal power plant find it difficult to get rid of wasted it is easy to transport it for long distance while thermal project power project are restricted in areas of coal production disadvantage of hydro power project the location is very important for the construction of hydro power project region must be mountainous or hilly so that the water falls from a height the supply of water may fluctuate thus affecting the generation of electricity almost all the power project face the problem of sli sli slitting multi purpose project a multi purpose project is a large scale hydro project of its including dam for water retention canals for irrigation water processing and pipeline to supply water to city and power generation pandit jawaharlal nehru called these big river project the temple of modern india to achieve this objective a number of multi purpose projects were installed so children we will conclude our lesson here uh, just now for the third part of the video we will continue with the next part of the video in the next session thank you children please read the lesson